High paced and high intensity are two words that aptly describe road tennis, a sport indigenous to Barbados that is light table tennis without the table. Invented in the 1930s by working class Barbadians who could not afford to play lawn tennis, the game was played in the middle of the road in communities throughout the island on a court outlined in chalk using wooden paddles, a tennis ball with the outside removed and an eight inch wooden board as the net in the middle. Mark Griffith, known as Venom for his potency on the court, is Barbados' number one road tennis player. For Venom, this community-centered sport changed the direction of his life. Um, I started playing road tennis in 2009. It was basically like me running into the sport where I was home, just having a hard time studying, you know, thinking about my future and stuff, and I just decided I wanted to take a drive. And by doing so, I ended up in Bush Hall Yard Gap and seeing these bright lights on and a sport being played, really not sure what the sport was at the time because I was in the middle of the road and just taking a glance. And I was like, this is cricket. So I decided to pull into the Dayton Power Road facility and I saw road tennis being played for the first time in the night. So I just asked the guys, how do I get into the facility and stuff? A guy by the name of Sam, who I always speak about a lot whenever I do my interviews. He encouraged me to come in, and that night, I forgot about all my worries and troubles, just listening to Sam talk, laugh, and you know, crack a few jokes and stuff like that. So it's a real community sport, you would say? People come out, what, what's the environment, like the atmosphere for yes, road tennis? Yes, it, it brings the community together, that I can say. For instance, like if you have a finals or a quarterfinals between Anton and Jackson, Jackson brings out those people from up Fairfield, Black Crop, and Tom brings out those people from Bush Hall, you know, the surrounding communities and even beyond, because in road tennis, you are like local superstars. There are always people that follow us from beginning to end, beginning the tournament right through. So it brings out that camaraderie. No longer just played on Barbadian roads, road tennis is a sport that has evolved and has piqued the interest of people around the world. Well, before, we used to play in the middle of the road where sometimes we'd have to stop, raise the net, and allow a car to pass through. But since then, it has migrated from the road onto hard court surfaces and places, as I said, enclosed places like the sauna and rubus as well. So, of course, it has gone um, beyond Barbados shores. I've been fortunate enough to travel places throughout the region like St. Vincent, Guyana, Jamaica. We have also been beyond the region, as I would say before, to like America and here coming recently now, Next month, we'd also be going to Dubai as well. Barbados' top player broke down the rules of the beloved local sport. Okay, well, the court is 21 by 11, and the net that I called before is 8 inches high. We usually do the lines 2 inches thick. Then there's also a governing line that we do behind the back of the court to stop players from going too far away and serving illegally. You're not allowed to serve on or over those lines. Okay, so everything has to stay in the blue square, is Correct. that it? Correct, everything has to stay within the blue rectangle and basically it's similar to lawn tennis, right? So the rules are similar. If the ball hits on the line, it's still on, you continue playing. If you serve the ball and it makes contact with the net, landing into the opponent's other half, it's called a net ball, where you have two chances where you will serve again. And the scoring is similar to that of the old table tennis um, rules where you go to 21 and you must get to 21 by two clear points. If it's 20 all, the game juice, and the person to win the next two consecutive points then becomes the winner. Okay. So, are you ready to teach me how to play a little tennis? Sure. This is the champion sure. here, so I'm a little bit nervous. You know, I hope he go easy on me, you sure. know? Sure, I will. I promise to. Let's see if he lives up to that promise. But first... We left the sauna and headed to an outdoor court where we met up with his training partner, Leroy Bess, to get a bit of practice in. The sun was blazing hot. I don't think I did too badly. But I'm happy now to leave the heat and go to the sauna for my match with the pro. <laughs> 
things always look a lot easier than they actually are. But I think I held my own. This is what you call a full body workout. I have used every single muscle in my body. Yo! <laughs> Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. Thank you so much, Vena. And thank you as well. Yes, it's been a pleasure being here. He's taught me all about road tennis, a sport that's indigenous to Barbados and um, in our culture. So, thanks for the lesson. And thank you once again. And, um, you know, I didn't, don't think I did too badly. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> you did fantastic, actually, for the first time playing. Thank you, thank you. Well, that's it for BT Travel. I'm Natasha King, along with Mark Benham Griffith. That's right, superstar. And this <laughs> is BT Travel, and we will see you next time.